How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm up six killer. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. We're gonna read a book now. <laughs> That's how we're gonna get started, because I always forget to read books. Man God. That only takes two. Which is only one night for us now. Is this one we've already read? All men have great spirit. Yes, we've read that before in a different book. <laughs> Damn. Didn't even get a boosty to courage. Well, we've got a new person to save. Did you all have a memorable summer vacation? I had a beautiful time in Egypt. <laughs> the people were very kind to me. They were probably able to sense my deep appreciation and love for their history. I even found some things with my dowsing rod. The citizens were very glad indeed. Time sure flies when you're having fun. I'm sure your summer break was short for all of you as well. They got wood on me. I was killing firewood in just a minute ago. <laughs> However, don't you think that there are some things in life that are best ended quickly? Oh god, war is one of them, so here's the question. Miss Chie. No, Bobby. How short was history's shortest wars? War. Oh, it's gonna be 40 minutes. Good job, Bobby, I'm impressed you knew. Yes, the shortest war in history lasted only 40 minutes. It was the Anglo-Zanzibar War, which began with the already staggering difference in military resources. Mind you, this lecture will be longer than the actual war, were we to talk about that, if we were going to talk about it. There's so much to learn. Yes. It's been a while since I answered correctly. <laughs> a long while. Ah, oh, there's another cop. Hey. How can I help you? Did you see someone suspicious? You told her that Naoto hasn't been coming to school lately, and you're worried. The kid is skipping school to do his investigation? What's his problem, really? The department has all but closed the case. Just because he's not satisfied. Shish. All we want to do is shut the book on this thing, so we don't have to deal with it anymore. I wish you just let it go already. No wonder the whole department treats him like a kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. That's why everyone gives him the cold shoulder, you know. You learned something about Naoto. You should put together the information you've gathered. But yeah. His obsession with the case? What do the police what do the police think of Naoto? They consider him a child. It seems Naoto had a fervent obsession with the investigation, but it seems that his obsession was not well received, and the police treated him like a child. You think you understand Naoto a bit more. You should report to Rise. But first, fusions. <laughs> Marie's missing again. Something's different. Marie's nowhere to be found. Again? There's a piece of paper on the floor. Come think of it. The last paper you found belonged to Marie. Something's written in cute handwriting. Sifo, listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. It's a poem. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid faded to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. A sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. Why? Did you read it? Did you read it? You did read it, didn't you? I said no. No, it's not like that. It's it's not a poem. Yeah. I'm yelling at the edge of the world. That this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out, I Stupid hate you jerk, I can't believe this. Don't read my things. Marie blushes furiously. It would seem that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. But why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Alright, we just made this one to fill a gap. I got a lot of spare crap. We gotta fill gaps. We are using up Rangda, but we never used Rangda anyway. It will give us something to use ice when we need it. I am Scotty. I shall do my best to give you support. Nice. Do we get Bufu Dine? No. That's cool. On to the next one. This is another one to just fill the gap, because we've got so many. I don't want to be carrying them all around when we go back in to fight again. We got a new dungeon coming up. I want to be ready for it. Mainly by having space for new ones.
Big Elephant Man. <laughs> I am Grimmy Hikala. I am one with you. I don't know why you've got uh, capitals and lowercase all over the place. Cool. <laughs> We can have a new dungeon, no doubt. We got a lot of new gear. Hopefully we'll smoke these fools. Oh hey Senpai, found any clothes? Tell me quick, I'll find a bit of Jeffy. Did you find out more about Naoto-kun? Of course. You told Rize about Naoto being treated like a child, and you explained Naoto's abnormal obsession to solve the I case. I see. So he's being stubborn about the case. Surprise, surprise. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. Got it, it won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. What the hell? What is this place? Then I mean sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh yeah! <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. Featherman? I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Awesome. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it! I hear you. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What <laughs> uh, Got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. Let's do it. You pinpointed Naoto's location. All that's left is to save him. You should prepare yourself for the upcoming rescue mission. Oh, I'm prepared. Yukiko. Let's go. Chie. We can take the same team as last time. Kanji. We good. Let's roll. Unknown intruder detected inside facility. Threat level yellow. Deploying guards inside the facility. Warning. Warning. Attention intruders. Leave the facility immediately. I repeat. Leave the facility immediately. Huh? Intruders? That means us, right? Yeah. Alright, well I'll bring you back when something happens, but there's gonna be some grinding our way through this to do. I'll bring you back. Alright, I've been in this dungeon for like two hours now, and it feels like we're finally getting somewhere. Let's present some ID get a fight on it. We're pretty hurt already. I'm not sure we can cope much longer to be fair. I see we got a boss in here? Or maybe we just got another item to find? I don't even know. I started avoiding fights because there was just so many of them. <laughs> this place is huge. Be careful, I sense a strong presence beyond this door. There we go. That's one of these. Intruder detected within the research area. Elimination proceeding. Well, oh, the last one of these wasn't that bad, although we're really low on, on. SP or MP or whatever it is in this game. Someone finish it off! Right, let's switch back to Trig Love. Last I mean, training Disc in the hope that that'll help. But Trig Love is definitely my go-to guy. I couldn't do it. <laughs> He's just really sturdy. Tons of help. He's not resisting anything. He's just got massive amounts of defense. Someone finish it off! And the HP. Hit him again. When Yukiko's got e SP, I made sure about that. That's all that matters, as long as she can heal. <laughs> then we're good. We can just go forever. Damn, couldn't finish it! Uh oh. Everybody good. I couldn't do it. Never mind. It ain't going down. Come on. Take it. I should reduce Someone this attack power actually. That would be smart. 
Let's do that. Is that one, Rosa? Yeah. Matarunda. Oh, Chia is really hit. He's gonna take some killing, but he's not gonna be that hard to beat. Now I don't need a gun because I don't care. Because he's being nerfed anyway. He's good at dodging, though. Pretty big critters, too. You got a crit of me. Knock him down. Damn, couldn't finish it. It's so strong. That's amazing, Yukiko Senpai. I couldn't quite it beat it. Time to heal again, Yukiko. Everyone would have been better, but okay. Come on down. It ain't going down. Everyone might be the way to go now. Or he pulls out whatever he's about to pull out. Nope, okay. Apparently not. Apparently, uh, Kanji's fine. Whoa, Kanji, that was great! Well, lucky word Kanji was fine. What happened to AOE healer? Just decided to don't like doing down. that anymore. Couldn't quite beat it. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, his attacks boosted. Does this counter that? It doesn't. This makes it last longer. Damn, couldn't finish it. Yeah, he seems to be stunned. Which is nice. Someone finish it off. Okay. God's hand. No one else is even coming close to that kind of damage. Come on down. Lay down and die oh, already. Kanji, your attack power is way higher than mine. Couldn't quite beat it. Miss. So that was an unfortunate miss. How are you dodging so well when you can't even move? Yikes, it's tough. It's like stunned out and he's still dodging. Nice. Finish him. Underestimate me, and this is what you get. Jeez, it wasn't even worth much XP. Yes, you did it, Senpai. It's hardly it, though, is it? Nope. Alright, well, I'll cut away and I'll bring you back when we get to the next thing. There you go. Let's get in there. So he's behind that door. Fingers crossed, man. We might gonna need it. Oh, we're gonna need it. The hell? It's being turned into a mech? That'd be awesome. Ah, oh, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no! Don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? Naoto-kun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you! These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth! The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth! No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes! It's your brain they're interested in, the grey matter locked up in that skull. 
As long as they need it, you're an ace, Detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. <laughs> a I, big boy. I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. <laughs> Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? Doesn't surprise me. He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, Naoto-kun and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, okay. but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. Are you done, That's token? not true! Don't say it! You're it's dead. okay. Shake, whatever. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> yep. <laughs> As if you know anything about me. You'll kick my ass. Looks like huh? he's about to fall off. Go ahead and try, you lizard brained imbecile. Here we go. Let's do this. Hopefully, Save we're ready for this. For later. We're pretty hurt. Here it comes. <laughs> well, we're hurting SP. Oh my god, he's a rocket man. <laughs> Lady, sorry. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I am a Rocket shadow, person. the true self. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? It looks like the laser gun from um, Fallout well. New Vegas. Then let's begin the special operation. Bring it on, man. I'll pull you through this. Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence. Go on then. Alright, Matarunda to start, just in case he's really dangerous. She, whatever. Now pick the crap out of it. It's over. As long as you can keep us alive, we're good. Give him a god's hand. Nice, that's good damage. Not bad. Everyone's doing good. Okay, don't do fire anymore. <laughs> Probably save your SP anyway. Fail much. <laughs> Boom. Okay, we're tearing him apart. Oh, that wasn't good. No, 
Ah. Hmm. I let my guard down. Take Gotta keep his attack down. He's quite dangerous when he wants to be. When he leads a crew. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. Ooh, that's good damage. Never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. Okay. You got amateur surgeon as well, yeah? That didn't go very well for you, did it? Right, let's do a party defense boost as well. I'm gonna play a more support role for this one. Just to be safe. Well, their SP's pretty low. Element Zero? Okay, that's fine. Good. Down to about two thirds. Oh, come on. You just throw weak ass. You could have healed Kanji, you man. Yukiko Senpai needs help. See that? Alright, fine. Who's got the best healing? Kakuri Hime. Working on it. Be the one gonna heal everyone, though. Hmm. What was I? Awesome. Uh oh. Senpai's acting weird. That's alright, we got this. I wish we had more SP though. It's over. Hmm. What? Not was a... I... <laughs> Come on down. Incoming. Well, Kanji, are you okay? Okay, that's worrying. Shouldn't someone heal to say you, the Kiko least. Senpai? Um, yeah. Not so easy though, with no freaking SP. Can't afford to lose now. Get up, lady, and stop being I such a twat. Lose. There we go. Back to fighting properly again, I see. Good. I'm gonna have to drop an ESP item just to keep ourselves going. I know it's only a hundred, but it's... We've got to keep ourselves going. He's <laughs> down the half. Is this attack still reduced? No. His other stats are boosted, even. I'm going to just focus on that defense instead of his attack. So he can buff himself as well. Well, we can't do both, of course. We get enough time. It's just that I do the most damage as well. <laughs> They're hitting pretty weakly. Thanks a million. <laughs> Come on down. Why doesn't she ever want to heal Kanji? Uh, because he's got so much HP. So much? Nice. Go in, do some damage. Come on! Good damage. Persona. 
Come on, Yukiko, you're on healing and support. Use it. Cheers! <laughs> I really wish you'd focus on using your AoE healing. Yukiko Senpai, are you okay? Oh crap, I let that let ourselves get too low. Can you stand? Come on! Take it! It did let us get too low, that was a mistake. Persona! Hopefully she'll heal us first. Yeah. Good. Could be a bit safer than that. It's a bit risky. A bit risky. Yukiko Senpai, are you okay? That's really annoying. Your ice dodging is not helping out. Your agility is down. Can you stand? Come on! Yeah, just keep wearing them down. We're gonna win at this rate. As long as we just keep wearing them down. It's gonna take fucking ages, but we'll get there. <laughs> Here we go again. Are you okay? You know you really should dodge that, Yukiko. You really should dodge that. Get it back up, let's go. Oh my god. Meteorama. Let's go. Do this. Persona. There. Thank you. Man, that SP that we put on our guy is nearly out again. Crazy. <laughs> Come on now. Jeez, Senpai's been hit. Hang in there. Silence. How dare you? I'ma kill you. Hmm. I let my guard down. I still hurt harder than most of them just by normal attack. Persona! There! Okay, we're at ESP as well. Oh, because he's draining it when he does that raid. Why it takes won't like 50 you lie SP. down and die? You children can't do anything at all! Yes, yes. Where, where, where? Your persona, nice. Senpai, hang in there. Come on, persona. Yeah, we're hanging in there. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Persona. As long as Yukiko's got SP, we ain't lost. Thanks a million. As long as she's standing on, as well, because that's important too. <laughs> you okay, Lightning. Senpai? Hang in there. Man, your status effects are really annoying. We're basically at the point where we can just Ooh, punch him up. and that's all we can Time do. For a all right, God's hand. Do some damage. As long as Yukiko can still keep moving. Keep healing. Cheers. Damn, he's got so much HP, doesn't he? It's unreal. Over 500 at max. Good damage. Good damage. Keep it up. Let's keep wearing him down. He's not going to survive this much longer. Looks like the best uh, defense was a good offense after all. Let's keep going ham. You can't cope. You just keep going ham. Gonna hit. Are you okay? It's fine. Just keep going. Come on. I oh, missed. Oh, come on, hit him. He's basically crippled. How can he dodge now? You can barely stand. <laughs> come on now. 
Man, that is a huge heal. Ah, uh, crap again. Yeah, you dodged it. That's it, Yukiko. Now we got him. Next turn. Next turn, it's over. Oh god, not again. Oh, you dodged it again. Evade ice, too good, too strong. Finish him. Oh, so close. Black spot. Miss. She's nearly out of SP to heal with. Gonna end this really soon. <laughs> We're cutting this very fine. I like it. <laughs> right down to the wire. It's alright, I don't need a special attack to finish you now. Persona. An humble attack. Hang in there. Got him. Whoa, that was a miss. Didn't know if we were going to survive that. <laughs> so, Nato Kun was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving, and. That's right. You saw everything. <laughs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends, so I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm going to be an awesome hard-boiled detective. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. Like Yukiko. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me junior detective. At first I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like Is that what those being machines a girl? are for? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. You can't let your job con consume you, come on. If they had the on. slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey, you must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me. And I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no. What I must strive for isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. Sounds like a good goal to me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Okay, it's a little pixie with a lightsaber. A big lightsaber. <laughs> At least compared to the pixie. Naoto has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona 
Sukuna Hikana. Hmm. In any event, you're a devious bunch. <sighs> That's not very I nice. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now. This case is far from over. That's right. Yes, and very you much. proved it now, doll. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Whew. Man, that that hey. dungeon took forever. Hey. She, Nato's breathing she heavily. She really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. True. You're too freaking reckless, well, damn I it. Probably could have figured that out. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. They did tell you that. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. Yeah. Mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can. No way, Missy. Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go. Grab on. <laughs> Sweet. You're able to rescue, rescue Naoto safely. And it seems the case is not over yet. Indeed. What a good day's work. Hey! Oh, Welcome back. Uh, sorry, we got off early today. Come on, take a seat. Mm. They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh. Mm. Relieved. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Ah, uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? It's true. But man, why'd Naoto-kun disappear? I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell you... I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi. You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we gonna make a case like this? I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another He's curb out there. The real one. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that! Well... <laughs> Sorry. All right, see here. Don't worry about the case. Just go study like a normal student. If you don't... <sighs> Shut up, I'm Virginia. going to bed. <laughs> Sorry. I killed the mood there. But You're yeah, the only one in the hyper mood anyway. I can totally anyway. understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's alright now. We caught the bad man, so no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Good. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Oh, oh I doubt that. that. too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. Good night. You loose unit, you. You're gonna have a hangover tomorrow. I thought you went back home. What does got brains mean? It means he's a stupid ass. 
Don't worry. Huh. So things will be all right? Nanako is full and silent. The night passes with the awkward mood hanging in the air. What you gonna do? Alright, well we're gonna save because I've been recording this episode for over three hours because of the dungeon and everything. But uh, yeah, we saved another one. Not bad. Now we can go back to fishing and shit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Alfie, and I'll see you in the next one.